We've got omega-6 yes. and omega-3s. The omega-6s tend to be pro-inflammatory in general, and the omega-3s tend to be anti-inflammatory in general. Right. Can, you, can you unpack that a little bit more for us? What makes the omega-6s pro-inflammatory and what are the omega-3s doing that, that causes them to be anti-inflammatory? And Why is our metabolism set up with these two different pathways that are uh, sort of competing or, or in balance with each other? Right. So the, first of all, you have uh, the, you to know that the omega-6 and omega-3 are essential fatty acids. The body cannot make them. We must take them from our diet. So that is a very important principle. And they have opposing properties. But whereas those from the omega-3s, their prostaglandins are less thrombotic and the, the leukotrienes from the omega-3s are much, much less inflammatory. Therefore, since they have opposing properties inside the cell, they must be in equal amounts in the diet in order in the cell, there's, they, a balance is maintained so that the diet is a healthy diet. It's not a pro-inflammatory diet. But the most important aspect is that when you change the diet and you end up with 20 times as much omega-6 as omega-3 is, it is a total imbalance throughout human metabolism. 